To make a hot air balloon, you'll need a hair dryer or another source of warm air. You'll also need some duct tape and scissors to cut the duct tape, and also a plastic trash bag. Now, this plastic trash bag is the thin, cheap kind. You don't want anything too heavy, like the kind used outside for uh, gardens or uh, leaves. The 33-gallon sizes are great, but if you can find them in the thin variety, that's perfect. Let me show you what we need to do to get started. The first thing you got to do is open up your trash bag. Open it up as if you were about to put trash in it. Once your trash bag is open, we need to modify the opening section so it's the size of a hair dryer. And to do this, you're going to open up your trash bag and wrap the end around, the open end, around your hair dryer. You need to make the opening of the trash bag very small. So in order to keep this this uh, this size, you're going to need to tape it. So you can use a bit of tape. And you're simply going to tape the bag to itself. Make sure that the hair dryer uh, doesn't have any tape on it. You can slide it in and out. And you're going to do that for all the sides of the trash bag. Now, a hot air balloon is going to work the best on a cold morning when there's no wind. So if you try this experiment and you're not getting a whole lot of luck, there could be a few different things going on. Your trash bag could be too heavy. The air inside could not be warm enough, meaning that your hair dryer isn't warming up the air inside um, warm enough relative to the air outside. Or the morning is just simply not cold enough, uh, which is basically the same problem as the hair dryer not warming up the air inside hot enough. So the bigger you have the difference of the two, the bigger difference in temperature, meaning the outside air versus the inside the bag air, um, the higher this thing will actually fly. And if you use a black bag that happens to be thin, that's perfect because, especially on a sunny day, the black bag will actually continue to heat the contents of inside the bag and it will actually stay airborne for much longer. Okay, let's see what we need to do next. So this is now our trash bag. This is the end that we usually put uh, trash in, but the opening is much smaller. Small enough so it fits nicely over my hair dryer. It's important you don't cover up the air intake or you'll blow up your hair dryer. Okay. We're going to simply turn it on and we're going to inflate the bag and get the bag air not only inflated, but we also want to make sure we warm the air inside the bag. So that process is going to take a few minutes. Let's give that a try. Once we actually have air inside the bag, we want to continue to heat the air inside to get it as hot as the hair dryer can possibly get it. So even though the hot air balloon looks like it's ready to go, you want to make sure you get that air inside as hot as it can possibly be. So you need to really warm the air very well. And when you're ready, all you have to do is release the bag and shut off the hair dryer at the same time. And the balloon should float up, 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 up to the ceiling. Go ahead and give that a try right now.